This is Eagle Al, and today I'll be talking about Jalen Hurt supporting his day one supporters. Also, Patriots dealing with another injury. And again, why Aaron Sipples? But let's get straight into it. All right, so um, I seen this on Twitter about what Jalen Hurts did for one of his day one supporters. And I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was very, very cool. So Jalen Hurts, we know he's signed by Nike and Jumpman, a.k.a. Michael Jordan. So this guy put out a tweet around like 2020. You know, this is when everybody was against Jalen Hurts. But that's what the guy said. When you ride and support someone since the beginning, the blessings come in abundance. Thank you, Jalen Hurts and Nike Jumpman. I'm so hyped right now. This is why I always supported Jalen. He's such a great person. Let's take care of business tomorrow, which is today. Lovely Sunday, lovely Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, man, this is I, I thought this was so cool. You know, send the guy that been supporting you since you came to Philadelphia since day one as a backup. Very, very cool. And it was comments under it like think Michael Jordan, well, the Jumpman verified Twitter page, page reply. It's a lot of replies like, yo, that's so dope what Jalen Hurts did. Because, again, a lot of people in the city was against Jalen Hurts because I won't say I was against him. I just thought it did, pick didn't make sense. It just didn't make sense. It's like you just paid Carson Wentz all this money. Why not get him more weapons? But as we know, as time go on, Carson Wentz was more of a cancer in the locker room. So all that stuff they basically were saying about him and Nick Foles and this and that, guess it has some truth to it. And that's why the Eagles decided to move on. But at the time, most Eagle fans were confused. But there was a group, like a small percentage that's like, no, Jalen Hurts is going to take over the team. I, I was 50-50 on it because I started to see the dire downward spiral of Carson Wentz couldn't really rely on his health then again he wasn't the best in the locker room so look where we are now you know look where we are now all right so um let's get into some news why Sippos? why Sippos? so earlier yesterday or like afternoon yesterday we you know reported who's coming up from the practice squad. I, I think every Eagle fan knew we need a punter, never signed one. Aaron Sipos was coming up and Britton Covey. Now with the Britton Covey thing, I somewhat get, but to me with Britton Covey, he's just not explosive. So this is where it's statistics get really funny and goofy because through the last 10 weeks, statistics will say Covey was one of the best returners because he was averaging like 15 yards uh, per return and it, it looked good on paper, but he's not a home run hitter. He's not going to bring you to the house. He's going to give you a solid 15 yards. And I think the Eagles are playing special teams very, very safe. And he doesn't turn the ball over. I got to keep it real. He doesn't t turn the ball over. But to me, he take too many big hits. Maybe last year was his rookie year. Maybe we should give him a shot. See what he can do his second year in the league. But not explosive. To me, he's not going to bring it home. He's not going to give you a 60, 70-yard gainer like a Devin Allen can. But he's going to give you a solid 13, 15. He's going to average good numbers. But like a but that's when the statistics, again, get really, really goofy. And speaking of goofy st statistics, I'm going to bring one up about Aaron Sippos. So Aaron Sippos ranked as a punter, not it. He's ranked 33rd out of 35. So there's 32 teams. They think there's a possible backup punter that's better than Aaron Sippos. That, that, that's how bad he is, right? So this is Aaron Sipples, well, technically Jake Elliott's numbers as Aaron Sipples as a holder. So this is the argument for Aaron Sipples as a holder. I even tweeted like, yo, he is one of the best holders in the league. So Jake Elliott's with Sipples as the holder, 46 of 48, extra points, 95.8%, and 13 of 15 on field goal attempts. 
Elliott without Suppose as a holder last season was 17 to 17, 100 percent as uh, on extra points and 11 to 12 field goal percentage. Well, obviously Aaron Suppose held more field goals, so the numbers are going to be skewed a bit. And honestly, Brent Covey was just a good of a holder as Aaron Sipples. Again, I don't get the Eagles' loyalty to Aaron Sipples, but you can see by the numbers in some way, form, or fashion that he is a good holder. But Jake Elliott was just as good. The only the only way I see Aaron Sipples really being on this team, to be honest, is like, is he blackmailing Jeffrey Laurie or Howie Roseman, hell, Nate Sirianni. Do we have some on these dudes we don't know? Like, I, I simply don't get it. Because, again, even without Aaron Sippos, the numbers were still good. And you could still always bring up Covey because you guys going to do it anyway to placehold. But the only guy I could honestly say that's advocating for him, to be honest, is Jake Elliott. You brought in Brandon Mann, who I'm really not the biggest fan of, but his numbers were better than Brent Covey's. Well, we brought in somebody that was ranked 28th, and Brent Covey, I mean, Brent Covey, uh, Aaron Sippos is ranked 33rd. Why not get that guy a shot? Now, I will say this. It was a point in time last year we kept asking for a new punter. Anybody would be better than Aaron Sippos. We're like, okay. The Eagles tested that theory because they had no choice. When Aaron Sipples got hurt in the Giants game and we brought in Brand Kerr, he, he was worse. So, man, I, I don't know, man. They they got to do something. They definitely got to do something. I think they should have just signed Brand Man and, and, and see where we could go from there. I'm ready to cut ties with Aaron Sipples. I know a lot of us are. Again, I don't understand him. There are arguments for Brenton Covey. To me, he's just too safe. He's not going to bring one home. I will be shocked if he bring one home. But if he does and he plays better, that means that, um, shoot, it was just a rookie year. That's what that means. And also, I forgot to bring this up in my keys to victory. Now, while we have one of the worst punters in the league, they have one of the best punt returners in the league. I think his name is... Last name Jones. I can't remember his name, but I'm going to put it right here. They have one of the best punt returners in the league. We have one of the worst punt kickers in the league. So this is going to be interesting. That means that special teams don't screw us. Please don't screw us out of a game. Please don't give these dudes free points. No offense to special teamers, but come on. When you get points out of special teams, that's a huge boost. That's a huge bonus. We ain't in the business of giving teams bonuses and points. So please, special teams, don't get these dudes just points. But I, I am worried about that. I forgot to bring that up. I talked about offense and defense, but I really didn't touch on special teams. But let's talk about something else that's interesting. And I'm really starting to feel bad for the Patriots, right? Another injury. So I seen this last night. I seen this last night, like, man, if you don't know who that is right there, that's their best receiver, in my opinion. That's uh, Devontae Parker. That's Devontae Parker. You know, the dude still give me nightmares a little bit, man. He still give me nightmares. But here we go. Devontae Parker is dealing with a knee injury and not expected to play on Sunday versus the Eagles. So this is New England's wide receiver core. Juju Smith-Schuster, who I reported, knee is so bad it's probably about to explode so they had kendrick burn the mario douglas who i know nothing about to be honest i know they got the rookie uh Kayshawn, and then they did sign Jalen rager to their practice squad so i'm not sure if they elevated him or not they need to but man another injury another injury man I i'm not trying to be funny but it's gonna be like the corners taking a day off because we do have a quick turnaround because our week two game is Thursday. But for real, man, it's like the corner's taking the day off and they got to get ready for the Vikings. Now, don't sleep. They're still an NFL team. But, man, if I've seen anybody on that wide receiver core that can really get it cooking, really get it going, it's Parker. But if they don't got him, man, they relying on weather, Bill Belichick, <laughs> and the run game. 
those are the things that can beat the Eagles special teams too. A- any team in the NFL can almost beat our special teams. But they, they relying on those four things, special teams, Bill Belichick, run game, and what well, defense. So so again, man, we should be able to win this game. They dealing with a lot. We're coming at fully healthy. I do want to dominate. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I want to dominate this game just to you know put a stamp on it. Like we for real. We are for real. I want one of those games, but we will see if we have one of those games. It's still Bill Belichick, it's still Tom Brady ceremony. But I want this to be a game of a we got them. We got that lead by the neck. We not playing. We we don't care who's on the field. We're not playing to anybody level. We're gonna play to our standards at all times. No, I, I want one of those games today. But of course, a video, another video will be coming out later today. I will give my initial reaction right after the game. And um, it's football Sunday, man. It is football Sunday. But hey, man, what do you think? And how do you feel about the news today? day uh just wanted to give a quick update of everything that's going on simples jail hurts being a good guy and the patriots dealing with another injury but this is eagle out man come on